Hey everyone, it's been a while. Um, hair, not any better. Still haven't gotten a haircut. Um, but a lot has changed. We have a new setup here. We have a picture of my cat Mia there. But yeah, it's been a while since I posted a video and I just wanted to get back into it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five reasons why I switched from the iPhone 10 to the iPhone 12 Pro. Now, before we get started, these are personal reasons. Um, purchases like these are very personal. So I like to make purchases with intentions behind them, making sure that I'm not just getting it to have it, but that I'm actually buying it and going to use things that come with it. So with that said, let's just jump right into it. So the first is camera. So this is the iPhone 10. It has a pretty great camera. Um, and when it comes to buying a phone because of the camera, you want to look at why the camera matters to you. So an exercise that I would ask you to do if you're considering upgrading because of the camera is go through your camera roll and take a look at the things that you're taking pictures of. For me, I'm mostly taking pictures of my cat because we're at home and uh, in a few months I'll be taking pictures of my baby because my wife is expecting a baby in a few months. So what I wanted is a great camera that's always accessible so I can capture those little moments of time. Of course, I have my Sony a6400, but being at home, like it's not something that I always have next to me. My phone is always next to me. So if there's ever anything I wanna take a picture of, take a video of, I'll have a great camera to do so. So that's really why the camera mattered to me. We could go into the specs as to like the three different cameras, uh, telephoto, the ultra wide, the wide, and talk about Dolby Vision and things like that. But for my personal case, like that, that doesn't really make a difference here. I'm not making movies on this. Um, I might shoot some things for YouTube videos, but this is really just to take pictures of my family, take pictures of my pet. Uh, and yeah, that's really the main reason here. So reason number one, camera. Reason number two is a design change. And this was mostly because because we are at home, like I tend to use my phone without the case on. And the iPhone 10 is a pretty slippery phone. Like I would always lose it in the couch, things like that. It was really hard to hold. And this might seem really nitpicky, but it's just something that I realized whenever I opened the iPhone 12 Pro is that it's just a lot easier to hold. Like I can hold it, I, I know where it is, and it just feels more comfortable in the hand. Now, it is a little bit bigger than the iPhone 10, uh, which I really, don't mind that it's that a little bit bigger. The iPhone 12 Pro Max would have been way too big for me. So I just didn't consider that even though it was coming out later. I know some people waited until the iPhone 12 Max and the 12 mini were released. I just knew that I wanted the 12 Pro just because of the size and I kind of knew what to expect here. Um, my wife did get the iPhone 12 mini. So I'll be posting another video on that because that phone is really, really cool. and. I don't know, I just, I, I like using her phone because it's it's small and it's it just fits. So, a uh, video coming on that later. Uh, the third is the battery life. So, this one's kind of like, it just depends on what your situation looks like. Because I'm working from home most of the time, like I have two lightning cables here, so battery life really wasn't an issue with this. If I was using it throughout the day and the battery uh, got low, I would just plug it in. Not that big of an issue. Um, but what I've noticed is that with this phone, like I can use it for more than a day and not have to worry about charging it. So it's it's more of a convenience thing. Uh, if I would have just, I wouldn't have bought this just for the battery life, but it's one of the reasons, uh, one of the many reasons where, okay, I'm already getting the camera, like the battery life is a pretty good perk of it too. So reason number four is just recording video. And I put this in a separate category as to the camera because the iPhone 10, like, it's great at taking video, it takes great pictures, um, but when it came down to performance and reliability when recording videos, I was really starting to have issues with this. Um, this is mostly because I have the 64 gigabyte version, so recording 4K video, I was always running out of space. Uh, and then also I was using this app, Filmic Pro, to just kind of adjust the types of video that I was recording, and I kept having issues where the videos just wouldn't save. They would always corrupt and it just got really frustrating. I would spend all this time recording video on my phone and then I plug it into my computer and the video files were corrupt or they weren't there. So that was really frustrating. So whenever I thought about getting the iPhone 12 Pro, that was one of the things that I was 
uh, looking forward to using is one having extra storage since the base model starts at 128 gigabytes that's awesome but then also just having that processing power to where I'm comfortable and I know that this phone is going to be reliable and it's going to save the footage that I record so because I also have the different lens options here the app that I was mentioned before Filmic Pro has the uh, ability to record using the front facing and the back cameras at the same time so if I do any sort of vlogging shots or anything where I'm trying to show you something but I also want you to see my face uh, I'm interested to see how I can incorporate those in these types of videos so video recording performance was a big reason that I decided to to buy this one and lastly and this one's a little controversial reason number five is 5g now don't buy this phone, don't buy the iPhone 12 if the only thing you're looking for is 5G. Uh, that's, it's a really personal decision of course, but 5G just isn't that uh, widespread yet. I mean, you can watch videos by the Wall Street Journal, The Verge, like a lot of these people are doing tests on 5G. I just didn't actually made a really funny one that I'll link down below. Um, but 5G isn't the only reason you should be getting this phone. Now for me, I went to Verizon and I checked their 5G map first because I wanted to see, okay, what can I expect in terms of 5G in my area? And I realized that where I live, um, I actually get 5G around my area and there's some streets around me where if, whenever I go on walks, I should be getting 5G ultra wideband, which is a really, really fast 5G. So. Um, I've had this for a few weeks now. I've gone on walks to see if I get 5G in that area and I get 5G, but I haven't been able to get the ultra wideband. So all of these examples where you can download a season of your favorite Netflix series in like two minutes, like I haven't been able to test that. Uh, but otherwise, like the performance on 5G has been pretty meh. Like it's faster than LTE sometimes. But I get, again, that just really depends on your location, where you're at, what carrier you're on, things like that. So um, that really wraps up this video. I just really wanted to make it quick. Uh, if you haven't already gotten the iPhone 12 Pro and you're waiting to buy it for yourself or for someone else uh, during the holiday season, I did want to just share why I got it. Uh, and maybe that'll help you find reasons to kind of justify why you want to get it for you or somebody uh, close to you. So. Um, yeah, it's good to be back. I'm hoping to, uh, to get a few more videos in and yeah, I'll shut up here and I'll see you in the next one.